take me You lead me To a place where There is freedom What is broken You're restoring What is hurting You are healing Jesus, my shepherd I can't trust in you forever And when I walk through the valley of the shadow of death You tell me it's just a shadow I won't forget
was, am I living it? Do I live in it? So astounding. Love is an ocean, you can drown me. The sweet embrace, the lovely taste, I taste and see. I'm under grace, the place to be. It means I'll never need an umbrella. I'm cool in the cold, in the hot weather. Whether or never I ever understand, I'm a man in the hands of great plans. I stand with faith and a life I never known to touch. And still I saw my clutch, but I'm like, what's the dream of? What's the hope in? What's the doubt for? Live to no end. This is living. The life I've been given is a gift. If I'm a living, I'm a living to death. So what's the dream of? What's the hope in? What's the doubt for? And live to no end. This is living. The life I've been given is a gift. If I'm a living, I'm a living to death. Bum 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 ba bum bum ba bum 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 ba bum bum What is happening? May the fourth be with you. Get it? May the fourth be with you. The fourth of May. It's like having a you know. Okay, but but today's May second. Bum 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 ba da ba da. The church kids show. to the Church Kids Show, and man, it's good to be back! I'm your host, Tracy Finder. And I'm Charles Good, and we have a delicious month planned for you all. Did you just say delicious? Yep, and fruity. Charles, what are you talking about? Well, this month, we are learning all about the fruits of the Spirit. Oh, yay! I love talking about the fruit of the Spirit. And guess what I brought in preparation? What? What did you bring, Charles? What? <laughs> watermelon! Yes! I love watermelon! Wait, but why did you bring watermelon? You know the fruit of the spirit isn't actual fruit. It right? isn't? Oh, I'm just kidding! Of course it's not! Well, I'm glad you asked. Today, we are having a watermelon eating contest. Oh, boy, I'm excited, but also really nervous, but also Let's get started. But wait, first, wait, 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 wait. First, we need to tell the church kids some important information. Okay, okay. I'll wait then. I'll wait. Church kids, our faith declaration this month is I have love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. That's a that's a really long faith declaration. Yep. But it's really important for us to remember, not only to help us in life, but to help us win contests at the end of this month at Memory Verse Madness. What, what is Memory Verse Madness? For the final weekend this month, on May 30th, we will be having Memory Verse Madness, both online mm -hmm. and on site. Memory Verse Madness. At all of our locations, we will be dividing into teams, playing fun games, and having competition. <laughs> but in order for your team to win, you will need to know faith declarations and memory verses. So I hope you've been paying attention. Ooh. And if you haven't, you might want to start studying up. Okay, okay. Can we finally get into our challenge now? Well, actually, come on. No. We still have to get prepped for the contest, so let's check out the game we have planned for our church kids today and our new memory verse wrap, and then we will come back and get in to the competition! All right! Sounds good! No, no, yeah, peanut butter, top left drawer. Okay, hold on, I'm, I got another call. Mr. President, on my way. What's up my crazy chicken nugget looking church kids friends? It's me, TC Jeremiah, here with another fun game that we like to call Fruit Balance. 
You see, church kids, we call it fruit balance because a healthy, nutritionally balanced meal diet plan includes fruit and vegetables, but don't eat your boogers. For this game, all you're gonna need is three bananas. And how you play the game is, you're gonna wanna walk your banana from point A to point B, but the catch is, the banana has to be balanced on your head. If you can do all three bananas in under 60 seconds, then you're a winner. The game begins in three, two, one. But the fruit of the spirit, fruit, fruit of the spirit, but the fruit of the spirit. Galatians 5.22, fruit of the spirit. Yeah, fruit, fruit of the spirit, but the fruit of the spirit. Fruit, fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy. Peace, Peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. A mango is sweet, but I think you know. Yeah. It's not the same as the spirit fruit when it grows. Oh. As the fruit of the spirit comes into our lives, a new land starts to form in front of our eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Things start to bloom like a fruit on a tree, but the spirit does its work inside you and me. Yeah. Far more nutritious than an apple slice. The fruit of the spirit is to make us more like Christ. We got love. Conditional and freely given Joy filled is the way we should be living Peace, cooling us in times of stress And impatience For those who need it the most we bless them Kindness, reflecting off our words and actions Goodness, could this bring our faith attraction? Faithfulness to keep us hopeful through the rough times Gentleness, I must confess, this one's a tough rhyme Self-control to keep my anger in check Learning to manage it so I don't end up a wreck So you can keep your orange, your peach, your strawberry But I'm strolling with the spirit, it's the fruit that I carry Yeah, the fruit of the spirit Fruit, fruit of the spirit, but the fruit of the spirit Galatians 5.22, the fruit of the spirit Yeah, fruit, fruit of the spirit, but the fruit of the spirit Fruit, fruit of the spirit yeah. is love, joy, peace Patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. I'm gonna barf. We have two watermelons, one for me and one for you. Your watermelon looks very adventurous, I must say. Mine's very like it refined. It looks delicious. Yours looks like, um, it's got like the... Grand Canyon in it? Yes, it's got canyons for people to ah! canoe in. Okay, stop touching kayak. the watermelon I'm that I'm about to eat. I'm only touching this, the outer part that you will not eat. It's finally time for our watermelon eating contest. Are you nervous? As you can tell. Yes, I'm very I nervous. I really like watermelon, but I, I've never eaten an entire watermelon. I have never in my life eaten an entire watermelon either. So I let's guess think just of it, do it. Think of it if you blended the whole thing of red stuff. Like it would probably just be a, a few cups of juice and like slurpy. Uh, I, it'd be good. What are you talking about? Uh, tell me out. you wouldn't get down on some watermelon ew, juice. Ew, ew, It's sweet and refreshing. Maybe put a little <laughs> cucumber on top. All right. Are we ready? I think. So, do we have like a time limit on this? <laughs> or is it just whoever just eats it Just whoever eats it first? 
All right. I, my, I'm already getting full just thinking Here about it. Here we go. This is massive. In three, two, one, go, go, ah! go. <laughs> Why do you try talking immediately after starting? I can't do this. How are you going so fast? I only needed one bite. <laughs> so much juice, so little time. <laughs> I feel like my nose is eating half of it. This sound, how are you eating that? I can't, I can't breathe. <laughs> so gross. It, <laughs> just that noise. Can you guys hear that sound? <laughs> it's so bad. And using my teeth is like a scoop. What do you mean? Isn't that what everybody does? You're biting down. <laughs> That's what no, I'm, I'm, I'm like a beaver, <laughs> scraping bark off of a tree trunk. Except this, this bark oh is red God. and juicy and not a tree I'm at all. I'm crying. <laughs> I literally don't know how to get even even <laughs> further down to that. Do to, come on, open sesame. Wait, I feel like that's good on that one. Just go to. Are you sure? <laughs> There's lots of watermelon left. Oh my God, I just am so. Oh. <laughs> oh. Watermelon down! Oh Watermelon down! <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Who is that? He's screaming! Next piece! <laughs> I feel like I have watermelon juice like in my lung or like in my heart. It probably is. It's like quit. <laughs> I can't do this because I can't stop laughing and then I get scared because I'm This one's not very die. good. This Did you switch one of our pieces? Watermelon. This one's not as good, I don't know why. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my. Maybe, maybe we should have only done half each. <laughs> I can't even eat this one piece. This is gonna take forever. <coughs> You're supposed, you don't breathe it in. Inhale it through your nose. You have to eat it. I feel like this one has lots of like green on it. Are you eating the wrong side? <laughs> no. Next. <sighs> I, uh, <laughs> I feel great, Carl. <laughs> really good job. I had the one. <laughs> I can't do this. It's just so gross. <laughs> I'm drown. I'm drown. <laughs> I'm drowning. And watermelon juice. Ah! Well, I do not suggest a watermelon eating contest for anybody else. Unless it's a lot less. What do I, dry watermelon? Why? Maybe like less juicy? What are you it's talking just about? so much water. I can't even eat it. It's like every body take it just shoots water down my throat. That's why it's called watermelon. <gasps> I'm exhausted. I can feel like we can just say you won. <laughs> yeah! You forfeit! You're still on one! Wait! <laughs> I'm taking like four bites because I A can't stop laughing and not keep laughing. Oh, there's like nothing. Well I tried my best. I am a about great to job, I'm about Charles. to turn into a watermelon. You did great. That is an excellent job. I Okay. <laughs> great job. Really great. I'm done. Woo! I'm getting a headache from ding, this. Ding, ding, ding! Winner! Winner, Goes winner, watermelon you. eater! Funny. Okay, wow. That was really fun and really challenging. You had like three bites. <laughs> Every time I took a bite, it just like exploded water into my mouth and then I was laughing and then it was just, it was not good, so. Well, it was also delicious. It was, it was. I'll probably have a little bit more. Even though eating watermelon is super fun, um, that's not exactly the type of fruit that we're talking about this month. True, the fruit of the spirit tells us how we can live like Jesus. Yep, 1 
For example, one of the fruits of the Spirit is love. When we follow Jesus, we have love in our hearts. That means we put others first. It's going out of our way to help other people and thinking of them before we think of ourselves. Jesus is the best example of someone who loves well. While he was here on earth, he hung out with sinners and the outcasts. He put others first and showed love to everyone. So good. Let's check out today's lesson and see what else we can learn about living with the fruit of the Spirit in us. Indeed. Hi. I'm Ricky. I'm Jamie. And this week we are talking about people with legendary character. Jamie, what's a legendary character for you? Oh, Harry Potter. Oh, or um, Wonder Woman is a good character. I see, I should clarify. I mean, someone who has good character. Oh, I see what you mean, like a role model. Precisely, but I guess we could do a better job of defining what it means to have good character. Yeah. Oh, let's talk to somebody that has all the answers. Yeah, Jesus. Oh no, I meant Quizman. Yeah. Yeah. People say he wasn't just an ordinary quiz man. He was a legend. It's time for the quiz thing. Hi, I'm Quizman. Let's play a little game called Clap Judgment. I want you to clap once if the person that I name was known for being a bad guy. If I say the name and they were a good guy, then you clap twice. Let's do a test round. If I say Gandalf, you clap twice. That's exactly right, because Gandalf was a good guy. Some of you didn't clap. Clap twice, man. Don't be a party pooper. You're not feeling it today. Everybody do it. Come on. Come on. All right, let's do the real one. For real. Okay, here we go. Robin Hood. Sherlock Holmes. The Joker. Indiana Jones. Dracula. Tarzan. Moses. Katniss Everdeen. Han Solo. Lady Macbeth. It's Shakespeare. If you don't know it, let's just go ahead and do one clap. Thanos. Is that a clap or a snap? That guy at the store with the eyebrows. That's a one clap. That's not a good guy. He's always like, hey, my eyes are down here, man. He's got eyebrows that look like he glued three more fake eyebrows on top of his original one. Looks like two baby rabbits fighting each other, like <coughs> The guy who looks like Bert from Sesame Street. Remember that guy that asked me to move his car? It's his brother. He's, I don't know what it is about that family. Hey, let me give you an answer key. Here it is. Did you get them all right? So when it comes to literary characters, it's pretty easy to tell who a good guy is and who the bad guys are. But we're not talking about character in terms of like characters, we're talking about having character. This is like what you hear when people say, this will help you build your character, or this camping trip is really gonna build a character. Hey, you walk a mile in another man's boots, it's gonna build your character. It'll build your character if you practice shaving with a butter knife. Stop crying just because a horse came into your bar mitzvah. <laughs> Take your sister to the dance. Chew on bark. Rub your face on leather. Would you please show a little character? We're talking about having character, but what does that even mean? Let's define it. Let's do a little math problem, okay? Character equals what you believe times X. Let's solve for X. Is it A, 12, B, 33, C, four squared, or D, how you act? Well, of course it's gonna be D, the one with the words. This is not the math thing with math man. This is the quiz thing with quiz man. It's how you act. Character equals what you believe times how you act. So if you believe that you should take someone else's bagel and then you actually take someone else's bagel, that's bad character. If you lie, cheat, and steal, and you think that that's okay, people are gonna say that you have a bad character. They're gonna clap once and say that you're a villain. If you treat people with kindness and honesty and you try to leave things a little bit better than you found them, people would probably say that you have good character. There's only one flaw with this whole equation, and that's when you start adding in sin. Our sinful nature inside of us craves weird things, and it makes it hard sometimes to know what the right decision is. We need a guide. Just like the Bible says in Galatians 5.16, So I say, let the Holy Spirit guide your lives. Then you won't be doing what your sinful nature craves. Look at that. The words are right there on the screen. I've never had words on... <laughs> ah. It's real hot. <laughs> it's real hot, and I wish that I had known. 
If someone had told me don't touch the words from the get-go, then I wouldn't have burned my finger. So, don't touch the words. Don't touch the words. Okay, what were we talking about? People with legendary character know that you have to change the equation. Biblical math says that legendary character is what you believe times how you act plus the Holy Spirit. You needed a guide and now you've got one. I've got one last clap judgment for you. Insert your name here plus the Holy Spirit. That's two claps. That is two claps. That's a two clap legend right there. There are heroes and there are villains and there are legends. Don't just be good, be legendary. I'm the quiz man. Goodbye. <laughs> People in my life with legendary character are people who I look up to. They are your role models. You better believe it. Which brings us to a role model challenge. Ready or not. Here we crust. Crumb. I, I, oh, that's better. Yes. Better. Role model challenge. Using the provided rolls and toothpicks, quickly sculpt what is on the card. You have two minutes. Okay. Your partner must guess what you are sculpting. Ooh, okay. Okay, I think I'm ready for this. All right. Okay, great. I'm ready. Start the timer. Okay, great. Bread. Two breads. Um, bread. Narwhal. It's a foot. Great, it's a foot great. Bread. You're doing good. Bread, You're doing it's a good. House. Two halves. Two halves don't make a whole. Two wrongs don't make a right. A shark. Alligator. Uh, killer whale. A shark. Oh, I'm close. Alligator. Crocodile. Stapler. Was that okay? <laughs> Well done! That is solid! Yay, thanks, I tried! <laughs> With so much time to spare. Well done! There we go. Okay, my turn. Okay. I'm ready. Bread. Three, four, five, six pieces of bread. Mm -hmm. a, a fire, a campfire. A ring. Um, a bowl. A bread bowl. <laughs> That'd be funny. It would be. Yeah. It's not. Okay, it's not a bread bowl. Um, it is a hula hoop. The Leaning Tower of Pisa. Um, uh, the Coliseum. Uh, the Eiffel Tower. It's a building. Um, was I close to, oh, I guess no, I can't. No, not pass. even. Oh, I'm not even, okay. All right, I'll go in a different direction. Um, it is the Sorting Hat from Harry Potter. Oh, uh, it's it's a witch's hat. It's a uh, um, your hat. A uh, uh, cat in the hat's hat. Um, hat. Top hat. It's a top hat. It's a top hat. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Yay! Oh, <sighs> whoa! Oh. Twelve seconds. Oh. Oh. This is excellent. Very stressed. That was too <laughs> close. That was very close. This is John. He there. John was a disciple of Jesus. He heard Jesus' teaching. Huh, hi, yeah. And saw how much Jesus loved people. Wow. John spent the rest of his life telling others about Jesus. John wrote letters to people who believed in Jesus to encourage them and teach them. Hmm. In one of his letters, he wrote about real love. He said that we know what real love is because Jesus gave up his life for us, so we should do the same for others. If someone has enough money to live well, and sees another in need, but doesn't help. Uh, yeah. How can God's love really be in that person? John said, let's not merely say that we love each other, but let's show our love for people through our actions. <laughs> Now we're gonna do the special lightning round of the roll challenge. We only have one minute to complete our roll model. I, I think mean, you can do it. I don't know if I can. What? You did great. Yeah, I have 12 seconds left. Just because of my poor guessing. Uh, okay, are we ready? You're right. It is all your fault. You can start the timer. 
three rolls. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay, yeah. Ooh, a spikes, a spike trap. Um, a porcupine. Five porcupines. Six porcupines. How? No. Okay. Took two little things, and then you put it. What? Oh my gosh. Alligator? A car. A spiky car. Monster truck. Uh, Ten seconds. I I have no idea what this is. A turtle. A, spi a spiky turtle. Okay, so he technically got it. It was a porcupine, but it's a crying porcupine. <laughs> yeah, so I tried to draw uh, eyes and, and have some tears coming down. That's what that's that's what was happening here. But yeah, so you did great. A crying porcupine. Yes. <laughs> My porcupine life is so spiky. Oh, so, so spiky. 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 My turn. Let's Kay. get... Before we get started, there's no way you're gonna guess this. I am ready. A car, a bridge, a train, a pancake, a, um, uh, yes, uh, it's a roller coaster, a, a, uh, the statue of David, uh, it is the, oh, I know it, I know this. This That's is impossible. This is, um, uh, the manger scene where Jesus was born. This is a camel. This is. Oh, uh, um, a sled with a snowman on it. This is a sleigh ride. Uh, this is Santa Claus in his in his sleigh. Uh, skiing, sledding, uh, uh snow mountains. Uh, oh, skateboarding. A snowman skateboarding. Santa Claus skateboarding. Um, Jesus skateboarding. Was I close? I mean, kind of, yeah. What is it? It's a kangaroo on the skateboard. I did. That was good. Uh, oh, th there's is, the pouch. Yeah. So it's the, the pouch. Yeah. So this is a kangaroo on a skateboard, and the kangaroo was doing kick flips, like. Yeah. Yeah. Forward. I wish I had paid more attention to. The what kind of tree is that? Wait, I know. It's an apple tree. How can you tell? Because it's got apples on it. Apples are my favorite fruit. No, oranges. Wait, bananas. Bananas are definitely my favorite. My favorite fruit is love. Love? Love isn't a fruit. Sure it is. Love is a fruit of the spirit. Fruit of the what? The fruit of the spirit. In the book of Galatians, Paul writes about love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. When we walk with the Holy Spirit, that's the fruit we can expect to see in our lives. I'm not a tree. I don't have fruit. The fruit of the Spirit doesn't grow on trees. It grows in us because of what we are. An apple tree naturally makes apples. An orange tree naturally makes oranges. And a banana tree makes... Bananas! Right. And all who follow Jesus have God's Holy Spirit living inside them. So when they choose to let God's Holy Spirit guide them, what naturally comes out is... Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Right. All the fruit of the Spirit. And just like you can tell an apple tree by its apples, the fruit of God's Holy Spirit lets others know that we belong to God. But without the power of God's Holy Spirit, Paul says a different fruit grows in us, the fruit of our sinful nature. That does not sound good. It isn't. That fruit is selfishness, pride, anger, envy, disobedience, greed, fighting, and anything that keeps us from getting along with each other and loving others the way God does. That fruit always makes us want more stuff, because we think stuff can make us happier than God can. That fruit leaves us empty instead of full. Ew, I don't want that fruit. I want love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. But I get angry sometimes, and I'm not very patient. Guess I'll just have to try harder. Paul tells us trying harder won't get us anywhere. That's because our own strength only lasts a little while. But those who follow Jesus have declared that their sinful nature is dead. Now we can choose to live by the power of God's Holy Spirit instead. We can spend time with Him and pray and get to know Him, for real. And as we get to know God's Holy Spirit more... I know. The power of God's Holy Spirit will make more of the fruit of the Spirit grow in us. Like bananas! <laughs> like bananas. What a great day learning all about the fruit of the Spirit. I can't wait for next week. Me too!
Church kids, remember that May 30th is Memory vs. Madness. Ah. So come ready to play some crazy games and have fun. Indeed. We will see you next week. And don't forget, it's a great day. To be a church kid! Woo!